Alright, what's up guys? Al from It's Androids World here. And today I had a pretty good idea, actually. Um, this is going to be my new way of recording videos, actually. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show off a ROM. And I'm basically going to do this with every ROM out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show off the ROM, all its glory parts. I'll go over basically everything about the ROM and why you should or should not flash it. And I'll show you a preview of the ROM. And then after I'm done showing you guys the ROM, I'll do the tutorial on how to get the ROM. That way, once you see the ROM in action, you can actually choose if you want this on your phone rather than what I did on the Gadget Pro, which was just give you guys a hero ROM and you guys have to go with it. So this is my new way of doing videos, guys. I really hope you like it. Let's go and take a look at this. Now this ROM is actually called um, Speed D or Super D, and the slogan is faster than a speeding donut. So basically, this is actually faster than D Wing's donut ROM, which is quite amazing and. Um, as you can see, it is quite fast and smooth. So it does have five home screens that you can swipe through. Three, four, five. Um, which is also really cool. It has some pretty nice wallpapers in the wallpaper gallery that we can check out. has the cyan engine main one. And you, you got quite a few of them that are pretty nice. Let's go and take a look at these. I'll display them full screen for you. So yeah, the wallpapers are very nice. And if you just want to set one, all you got to do is find which one you want and hit set. And it's pretty instantaneous. As you can see, it's already set. As you can see, it also has a really, really nice eclair style app drawer, which is interesting because it's also transparent, so it blends in with whatever background you have, which is really cool. And when you actually open up the app drawer, you get a very gorgeous application drawer. It has a nice fade to the app actual background of the application drawer starts off darker and goes lighter and I think that's a gorgeous thing about the actual app drawer and of course it has really really nice eclair style icons so if you guys are looking for a well nice looking ROM this is definitely one of the ways to go the widgets are really nice this is actually the analog clock um wow <laughs> the analog clock that comes stock with the um with the ROM which is also nice there's the stock search it's transparent as well just like the app drawer which is really nice I'm just going to take a look at some of the other widgets that come stock you get the calendar nothing too special there um, I don't think I have any point okay there you go so it loads up um, nothing too special there it's just the stock calendar um, what else we get you got your music, which I think might be slightly different. Okay, no. Alright, it's the same music widget. Um, you get your picture frame, you know what that looks. You get your power control, stock power control, and then you get your search. So those are the widgets that come with it. Um, and you also have the dialer, and the dialer is pretty nice. Let me make sure I don't... Okay, here are the dialer. Here's the dialer, I mean. Um, it's actually pretty nice. Up on top, you get kind of a touch flow 3D style thing right here and then you have your nice white dialer which you can just easily dial which is pretty nice and of course holding down will delete it so that's the dialer um, nothing too special there but it is a nice dialer opening up the browser is one of the best things I've seen um, we can go ahead and go to a specific site and let's go to eBay once again the um the the actual browser is very nice. Um, I like using the browser. And here we go. And it's loaded up now. As you can see, you have multi-touch, and the multi-touch is fantastically smooth, which I was really surprised about. And you have double tap to zoom in. Two taps. Two taps. Two taps. So yeah, so multi-touch is enabled on here, which is pretty nice. Um, and the multi-touch is really nice. Like, I was surprised how smooth it is. If you guys can see that, my fingers move in and it glides out. So that's multi-touch on the browser and basically all the new features the browser brings. Of course, you got the newest market with the, of course, newest market icon. I've actually not even opened up the market yet. And also, so you guys know, the battery life on this ROM is fantastic. Um, very, very nice. And the ROM's a very small file as well. And 
And while it's loading, we'll go ahead and search. As you can see, this is the on-screen keyboard. It's actually pretty cool. Um, it's all black. It's very slick. And you got it in full screen mode as well. So the on-screen keyboard looks very nice. And it's, it seems to be a little bit more responsive, which was interesting to me. Android keyboards are always great. But this one just seemed really nice. Like, I really liked using it. Also, if you guys know about Root, you probably know about overclock widgets. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. As you can see, apps open and close very fast with a very smooth animation, um, which I really, really like. Opening up basically anything is really fast. If I open up the alarm clock, bam. And you have a nice animation there. And let's see if the overclock widget is almost done. So if you guys know about overclock, basically what it do what it does is speeds up your ROM by setting the frequency of the minimum and maximum potential of your processor to all the way up and um, it will basically make your ROM perform much better and that's one thing I really like so that's why I use overclock you just set it and you get your SU request and it boots up and then you can set your minimum and maximum and that speeds up the ROM like crazy as you can see so that's basically it guys, let's go ahead and see how to get this ROM now. Um, let's go ahead and do the tutorial. What you're going to want to do is open up your USB cable drawer or door. Then just plug in the USB cable to the bottom of the phone. Scroll down the notification bar, tap USB connected and hit mount and then go to your computer. Now that we're at our computer, what you're going to want to do is open up your SD card. And hopefully you delete any file on there. That's what I do. Make sure it's backed up first. And you're going to drag over the file that I had you downloaded. It's called eclear.v.15x.zip. And um, you're going to download that file. And it'll copy. It's only a 46.7 megabyte file. So it's definitely small. As you can see. And it copies real fast. So that's nice. And then what you're going to want to do is safely eject your phone from the computer. So you do that by just ejecting it. And then you're going to go back to your phone once it's ejected. Now that the phone's ejected, you're just going to unplug the USB cable from the phone and wait for the preparing SD card logo to go away. And once it's gone, power off your phone. Hold down the end call button, hit power off and hit OK. Then the phone will shut down. As you can see, you got nice black, basically everything on this phone. And you turn it back on using home and power. So I suggest you click home first and add in power right away and it will boot up with no problem. So of course I still have the latest Amara recovery image on here. I never switched to Cyanogen and I'm probably never gonna. Um, Amara makes the best recovery image and Cyanogen makes really good ROMs. And you're going to scroll down to wipe and hit wipe data partition which is pretty easy. Then go back, go to flash zip from SD card and hit the file you downloaded which is eclair and hit home again and I'll get back to you guys when it's finished installing the ROM. Alright guys, so now that it's done installing, all you gotta do is reboot your phone. You just click home and back or just click the reboot system now with the trackball and the phone's gonna reboot. And it'll go to T-Mobile G1 so I'll get back to you guys when it's booted up. Alright guys, so it's booted up now and we have successfully flashed Super D-ROM, um, faster than a speeding donut. On our phone, it is an extremely nice ROM. Um, I, I think I recommend this more than D-Wing due to things like multi-touch in the browser and the transparent um, toggle right here and the actual application drawer on the inside and the black scheme everywhere. So yeah, it's a gorgeous ROM, guys. Thanks for watching. Please remember to rate this video 5 stars, comment if you need any help, and especially subscribe.